Hi, this is Lionel Neal. I'm at the University of Pennsylvania Museum of Archaeology, and today is the Brewers Plate Events. It's hosted by Fair Food, and we have 25 breweries and 25 restaurants paired together inside, and we're going to go and check it out. In this corner, we have uh, Philadelphia Brewing Company, and Nancy's going to tell us about uh, her uh, beers. Today, we have our New Bold IPA. We brought that because we're paired with South Philly Tavern, which is in the New Bold neighborhood. So it's really hoppy. It's uh, nice and fresh. Good malt balance to it. And we also have our Fleur de Lehigh, which is our spring summer seasonal. We brew it with ginger, lemongrass, rhubarb, rose hip, so it's real herbally and fresh. It's got a nice, nice herbal spice to it. I like the uh, the Fleur de Lehigh. It stands out as a more herbal beer than uh, yeah, some hoppy. It's yeah, it's not hoppy. It's, it's a lot of people that don't that say they don't like beer. I don't know what that means, but a lot of people that say they don't yes. like beer, yeah, Communist. like it yeah. exactly, <laughs> but like that. So All right. yeah, thanks. Good. Uh, sure. Can you tell us what it's paired with today? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm Scott. I'm from the South Philly Tap Room. Um, we chose to go with something spicy for it. Um, so uh, we made a beef tartare made from all natural blank, uh, black Angus beef and uh, paired it with uh, a chipotle zevion and queso fresco. So the spice should go nice with the hops in the new bowl and with the, the uh, herbals in the uh, Okay, thanks. Sounds great. Sure, thanks. All right, over here we have Chris from River Horse Brewery, and he's going to tell us about the beers he brought today. Uh, hey guys, um, today we brought our American Pale Ale, that's our hop hazard. Uh, it's brewed with three different kinds of uh, Pacific Northwest hops, Chinooks, Centennials, and Cascades. Um, we also brought our Spring Seasonal, which is our Double Wit. Um, it's a little higher in the ABV category, about 7.5% uh, than most Belgian uh, wheat beers. Uh, we also brought some coriander, two different kinds of orange peel and lemon peel. Um, so we're kind of showing both spectrums of uh, what, what River Horse can do. Um, a traditional pale ale and, you know, Belgian style. Um, all right. So I, I like your beers. I don't thanks, have all of them. They're great. Thanks. Uh, thanks for uh, keeping the uh, local beer alive for us here. Hey, no problem. We'll, okay. be, we'll be here every year. And, uh, yeah, we're happy to be in Philly. Um, yeah, great event. We're having a good time. Okay, thanks. Uh, let's go see what they have it paired with over here. Uh, this is Diana from the Tiger Pass Pub in Old City. Can you tell us what the, the beers are paired with today? Absolutely, Glenn. So uh, today we've got our macaletta. The bread is made in-house, and we're also serving our famous uh, popcorn, fresh, uh, fresh popped here, tossed in Benton's bacon grease as well. Greasy, greasy popcorn. Oh. Awesome. Thanks, Diana. Scott from Weyerbacher Brewery, and he's going to say what he's got in his Sure, so we're Weyerbacher Brewing Company from Easton, PA, and uh, we're pouring off our boat, and our boat is our Belgian pale ale. Uh, it's got the sweetness from a Belgian style beer. Back end of your palate, you can get a little bit of hops there. It's about 6%, and it's pairing really well with the chili that London Grill made today. All right, thanks, Scott. Sure. Christina, would you like to tell us about the uh, chili? Sure, we're serving up a wild boar chili made with a uh, homemade pretzel bun on the side and some Chinese mustard. And the wild boar chili is made with the Weyerbacher poutine, which is their smoked imperial stout. Sounds great. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? We have a wild boar chili. Can I get your beer? Yeah. Nothing but serious faces. Yeah, nothing but serious faces. We have the goofiest table in the place right now. Mike from South is going to tell us about his beer and uh, what to prepare it with. 
Hello? So, yeah, we brought uh, two of our excellent beers today. We have our Old Abominable Barley Wine, which is an English-style barley wine paired with a smoked carrot and trout salad with a spring onion mix on top. It is a phenomenal pairing. And then we also have our Carnival Kolsch, which is a light German-style ale, fermented with lager temperatures and kind of treated like a lager, paired with a pork belly on a soft pretzel crostini with a rare bit fondue, which is actually a beer and cheese fondue. What's incredible about that pairing is that the beer itself actually makes you taste the cheese. You really can't taste the cheese until you drink the beer. So it's a very, very nice pairing from Mid-Atlantic Restaurant, which is in West Philly right here at University Center. All right, thanks, Mike. High five. High five. Here, wait, have some beer. You gotta try some beer with it. Right. Don't wait, 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 do this first, one first. first. This is it. This is one of the best food pairings I've ever had in my entire life. Seriously, it is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. That works better perfectly. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna be back for more. I hope you enjoyed a look inside the brewer's plate. Check out the restaurants you saw if you want to taste the pairings in person or stop by a bottle shop like the Foodery and create your own brewer's plate experience at home. Cheers.